Good evening and welcome to the June 7th, 2018 Traffic and Safety Board meeting. Uh, roll call. Stoker. Here. Hang. Here. Coda. Here. Samuel Moore. Here. Maureen Moore. Here. Collins. Chief Anderson. Here. Next on the agenda is introductions of guests. If you can come forward to the microphone and state your name and if applicable, your address if you live in Clawson. David Angle, I live at 833 East 14 Mile. Okay. Thank you very much. Is that E-N-G-E-L, sir? No, A-N-G-L-E. I know all the angles. A-N-G-L-E, okay. Okay, thank you very much. And then we'll come um, later on the agenda for any new um, business, and you can come up and speak then. Pat Colley with Transportation Improvement Association. Thanks, Pat. Uh, next on the agenda is approval of minutes of May 3rd, 2018. I'll make I'll a motion to approve the minutes of I'll May 5th, 2013. All those in favor of approving minutes of May 3rd, 2018, say aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes have approved. Uh, next on the agenda is old business. Um, item A, prohibitive truck turns at 40 Mile and Main Street. Yeah. Uh, to the board, uh, all I have to report is that on May 15th, uh, I went before council and um, the it, our traffic control order was approved. Um, that's in place, the signs are ordered and we're working on all the logistics. We're uh, coordinating with the county road commission for the placement of the advanced signage uh, to the um, east and we're gonna have to work with Royal Oak to the west. So, but that's all working, working good. Okay. So. Any other discussions for that item? <clears throat> okay, next uh, item on agenda, item B, uh, city sign replacement. Yeah, I just have to report that um, I put it in um, memorandum form, everything as far as each sign that we had addressed, and I turned that over to the DPW uh, personnel so that they know what to do with the signs as per uh, uh, you know our discussion at the last meeting. Okay. The other, the other items um, that we had, they're all, on the, they're all on the mix, but I don't have anything new. They're all being reviewed uh, by the city attorney um, and by city council and, and such, so I don't have any. And the East Tacoma and Maine was forwarded to the Planning Commission for review. I have not heard a response from them yet. Okay. So I just don't have anything new to report on. And, and the... the um Signs for the handicap, that's in... The advisory signs um, policy, I had forwarded that to Mr. Kingsup. Um, I also forwarded that copy of my report to council. Um, they, they've, uh, they're kind of mulling over it over, and um, I was on, on vacation, so it kind of put a little stall there mm -hmm. in that from Mr. Kingsup and I uh, meeting, as well as the, uh, <laughs> the overnight parking permission is also being reviewed by uh, Mr. Kingsup. And, um, and, and, our, um, and our ordinance, ordinance. Um, okay. is also a report I did is sent to Mr. King's up for Everything's review. cooking first. Everything's cooking. <laughs> okay. It's just I don't have anything new to report on them. We had, as okay. you can see in the minutes, I was busy typing minutes. So. <laughs> I can see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Well, thank you, Chief, okay. yes, thank for you. that information. <clears throat> um, next on the agenda is new business. The only th thing that I would have on new business is um, Mr. Engel, Engel to you know talk about um, his Jake breaking. That was, um, I believe that's what he's here to talk about. So that would be what I would add tonight to our new business. So. Where I live, they're on 14 mile. All the trucks coming off the expressway use their Jake brakes. If you don't know what a Jake brake is, it'll shake your house. It's been, I've been there for almost 20 years, but I'm retired and I work outside all the time. My wife works in the yard. And when they hit that Jake break, it shakes your house. And I'm sick of it. And at the council meeting the other night, they said, well, we got to do a sound check. We got to do all this. Isn't there noise ordinances in this town? Well, our noise ordinance, um, and I reviewed the council meeting just to kind of get a heads up on what was going on. Um, and like Mr. Kingsub said, for a noise ordinance, it is, it does talk about decibels. I can tell you that after our conversation, um, 
I've got word in with our city attorneys to mull it over. So I've got the, our legal people to see what, what, if anything, we can enforce ordinance-wise regarding the noise. The problem with um, also that was discussed at the council meeting was um, that we were talking about um, the traffic control order and do something along those lines. The problem is, is that your street on East 14 Mile Road, east of Rochester, falls under the jurisdiction of the Oakland County Road Commission yeah. for for regulation on the roadway. So our, you know, I've, I have, actually also have a call into the Road Commission to see what, if anything, they've done in their other jurisdictions with this, if they've got any suggestions for us and whether they would be willing to do something on a TCO basis if our, our noise ordinance doesn't cover it. I, I went on the internet and I was looking around. Um, I think um, Sam Moore did as well. I talked to him before the meeting. Um, it sounds like it's a problem all over the place and people people work on it. There's no there's no state law that covers it. But a lot of cities the, have ordinances that, that cover right. it. And that's Especially what it cities that are on a hill. That that's <laughs> that's what it sounds like and that's that what I'm reading through all the different articles is that 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 was the exception that they allowed those ordinances was that because it's not um, if you don't have that grade, you know, they're saying the grade they need it for safety reasons to be able to slow their load down, but there's not much of a grade on East 14 Mile Road. <laughs> there's so. no grade on East 14. <laughs> what they're doing is they're lazy and doing mess with the brakes. Yeah. And it sounds like a, what I've read too is that um, it depends on, and I believe you said it with the straight pipe. If oh, it's okay. what they're saying, the company that makes it is what I read is, is um, that makes the Jake break says that it's not nearly as loud if it's going through a proper exhaust system. Since they started this road construction, all the gravel haulers and everything all run straight exhaust. And they're coming down 14. And they're hitting their jake brakes. Plus, it's just noisy. And I work outside all the time. I'm retired, so I work in my garage and in my yard all the time. And it's finally got to where I'm sick of it. Like well, if I opened the headers on my car, I've got a hot rod. If I opened the headers on it and drove up and down 14, I'd get caught. And they'd say, well, you have a noise ordinance. Well, what I've seen, there's your loud exhaust could be, there is law that's talking about the excessive noise from an exhaust. This Jake brake system is something that's a little different as what i It bleeds I'm, through the exhaust. Yeah, it bleeds through it, but it's not the, the defective or the altered exhaust that is applicable for a state law violation is what I've, I've read. But that's where I'm going to get opinions from our city attorneys to see what, what if anything, we can do other than having to go out and buy a decibel meter and have somebody oh, out there catching the, you know, catching the yeah, decibels. Yeah, I know, I know or, you got plenty of other things to do, lots of other things to well, do. Well, you know, we want to try to address your, your concerns. And, you know, it sounds, and when I'm reading, it sounds like there's a lot of people around the state that have this, uh, and, and out of state, that have this complaint about this jake breaking because it's annoying oh it's real annoying quick question have you noticed an increase at all this year with the construction pardon have you noticed an increase at all with the oh, construction yeah. all the Is gravel it, trains and everything coming down. you've been noticing the gravel trains coming towards this area yeah okay and most it's mostly the gravel trains and the steel haulers because if you come sit at my house between 4 30 and 5 30 in the morning there's a steel hauler that goes by every morning and he's got straight pipes. The girl across the street, it's been a, we've sat and talked about it for years. And they, they say, well, we can't catch him. Well, they're not, must be trying. Because every morning between quarter to five and 5.15 or 5.30, that truck goes by. And you can hear him. If he gets caught at the light, you can hear him roaring. And that's, I, where, that's, where, that's where our problem lies is because I want to try to figure out if, in order to stop somebody, you should have a reason to stop them. And it's it's always best for an officer to have that valid reason to stop somebody and then be able to back up the stop with a violation. So I just have to make sure, figure out what our city attorney wants to do with this and what we can do, and then give instructions to our officers with what we need to do to enforce this. So I that's what I was talking to Chris, my next door neighbor, and she sleeps with a fan on. And she said, you know, almost every morning it was waking me up. And it still wakes me up. I said, it's that truck that goes by every morning. She said, I never thought of that. And she went, the fan going, the truck wakes her up through the fan. So does this go on all the time, sir? It goes on all the time. So the fact that we're doing 
some major work in <clears throat> downtown Clawson is is not precipitating this noise. It, it's happening all the time. It is with the gravel haulers now. It's precipitating it, but it, the jake breaking goes on all the time because they come off the expressway and right. that's what they do. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And they'll still be going down Rochester because even with our prohibited turning at Main Street, so they'll still go past his house. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So. Um. Hmm. My wife will be working in her flower bed. And one of those guys will hit his Jake break and it scares the crap out of him. I demonstrated it with my horn the other night. I kind saw, of made him I angry. Saw that. <laughs> I kind of was hoping council. you'd bring it tonight. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I broke my neighbor's dogs from barking like that, too. Oh, you do? Oh, my neighbor's little dogs barked at me the whole time I was in my backyard. Yeah. I walked over one day with that horn. I leaned down and I shot it right in the dog's face. <laughs> One stood there and peed, peed in the yard and ran to the house. <laughs> <laughs> Are they still friends with you, those little dogs? For three years, dogs? They wouldn't, when I, they saw me in the yard, they left. <laughs> I like dogs, but I don't want one standing there yapping at me. Yeah, yeah. I know. This issue is just, it's... We'll, we'll see if we can come to... Uh, I, I need to do some homework on it and do some research, and um, hopefully by next meeting I'll, I'll, I'll have some information to, um, and I can relay it to you. I've got your phone number. I talked talk. to the chief about that truck coming through at 4.30 in the morning. That's me. So, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. So I have your phone number. So. Yeah, because I'm not kidding you. Between quarter to 5 and 5.15, 5.30, here he comes. And that's where, used, that's where I want to I want to have our guys armed with something to know what they're going to do to justify stopping them with it. How he said he knows him. Oh, does he? Yeah, okay. He's, yeah, because Howie's been in the trucking industry for a long alive. time. Yeah. So that's all I've got. Just I need some help with the noise. Well, I'm all along there. I've talked to a lot of the people. I should have brought letters from all the people just to back up my claim because I'm here by myself. Well, nobody's saying that you're not, you don't have an issue. And I, and I would understand it if I lived in the area also. I mean, it would just be annoying. Mm -hmm. I that's know when I've been out to uh, years ago when I used to camp with my family, I'd hear it when you're close to a freeway. You'd hear him Jake breaking out there, and mm -hmm. it's it's a constant. Yeah. It would be really annoying if it's as close as 14 Mile Road is to your house. Mm -hmm. And I realize it's a main thoroughfare, but yep. they don't have to do. And all so, they've got to do is catch a couple of them, yep. and the rest of them will pass it. Yeah, along. that's 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 usually how it goes. With the, so, the word of mouth. I just want to be clear on this, though. Where exactly where does this take place? Is it when they're coming off of off of uh, 75? 75? Yeah. So it's right there. At they the... start about four or five houses down from me. That's where they start hitting their jake breaks. Oh. Because they're approaching Rochester it's Road. Probably. And it slows them down. What it does, yeah. the compression in the engine slows the truck down. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did some research on it as well to see what a jake break was because I didn't know what it was either. And that's uh, it's very interesting technology. But it's – and there are, there are some answers – to quieting that down, you can, if the truck is properly muffled, muffled, it will be quieter, much quieter. You don't hear all that popping that's going on. Um, well, it doesn't actually pop. It goes, Yeah. And uh, that's, the, that's because the exhaust valves are opening up. Yeah. Uh, and allowing the, the compressed air to, to leak out. So, um, I, I, but they're, like I said, there are there are some options, but you know you that you then get into the how are you going to make the driver put a muffler on his truck? You know, so uh, probably the same way you would me if I open my headers on my hot rod and drove around. <laughs> yeah. write me a ticket and say, "Hmm." <laughs> no, we have a law against you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I don't open my headers when I'm riding. <laughs> Well, we're glad that you came to tell us about yeah, this. So I, and we'll see what can we'll happen. We'll sure do our best. Yep. Yep. I'll yep. try to bring them some information and, they, and ponder it at the next meeting. Yep. Okay. So. Catch that 430 driver. 430 driver. Okay. <laughs> Thank Sounds you very good. much. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. And uh, any other new business items? I don't have anything. Okay. Did the board have any other new business items? Uh, I think the chief, well, the chief covered all my questions as to what was going on with all the other things we had sent forward, and that yeah. was all I had. I, uh, gosh, I did have something else I wanted to bring up, but I <laughs> got on the jig breaks here, and I <laughs> forgot what we were doing. Um, 
You had a month to think of it, Sam. I know. Isn't that something? <laughs> and he spends it just to so Yeah, but I'm old now. See, I, I have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a couple things. One was uh, we need to... Um, we need to elect a vice chair uh, by, our, by our, uh, our ordinance. We should have one, and we don't have one. Uh, and also, we need to send a letter to, um, to Daniel Collins and advise him he's no longer on the board. Yeah, because he's just MIA here, so... And then uh, uh, notify the council to uh, that we have an opening that we're looking for uh, to fill in. So those are a couple things that we need to take care of. Are you going to write the letter? I will. Okay. My scribe. I'm the scribe. I, I will do the writing. <laughs> Doesn't he supposed to have a long beard or long hair or something if he's a scribe? Duly <laughs> <laughs> uh. noted. Okay. I'll be waiting for the letter. <laughs> well, give me a minute. <laughs> I didn't mean you had to write it now, Sam. Yes, you did. <laughs> I, I could tell. Now, is it next month we vote for chair and vice chair? Usually we do it in July. Is it July? Yep. Well, that would be the new fiscal year. Oh, yeah. So okay. That would probably make do we just, sense. Do we to just do want it. to hold off voting chair and vice chair until next month? I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. That'll give everybody a chance to practice their speeches. Okay. Um, what, <laughs> is it going to be on July 5th with the holiday still? Um, yeah, I would say we could still do it on the 5th. Okay. Well, is anybody going to be out of town? Is there anybody going to be out of town? I'll be out of town. Be... I'm out of town. town. You're out of town? No. It's so kind of a tough week to do it. Do we want to do it the following week? Would that work for everybody, or is this open? That, that on... could probably work for me. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that. Yeah, I'll be, back in I'll be back in town on the 9th. Okay, so we'll do it that, that following week then? Does that work for everyone? Okay. That'll be the meeting? That'll be our traffic and safety board, and I'll post it as such. That we'll, That's okay. the change of date then mm -hmm. because of the holiday okay. week. Okay, any other new business items? Does he have anything here? Tonight? Pat, do you have any updates at all tonight? No. 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 We're just... to keep the minute short. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Okay, is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll yes. second. All those in favor of motioning, uh, adjourning the meeting say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Have a good evening.